Alright, let me do a review and a uh, comparison between two coolant filters here. I've got the John Deere OEM RE11992 coolant filter and the Donaldson P554685. They're both the same thing from different places. These are both used coolant filters. I haven't opened this one yet. And this one, <laughs> I went to change the filter and didn't realise that I had the right tool to be able to take it off. So I said the screwdriver was put through it. But we'll still be able to see what's going on on there. So it's a fair bit of writing on the Donaldson one. It's just in different languages. It's got coolant filter, Donaldson. Made in Mexico. Take the cap off the radiator, I think that means, and then tighten it. Cycle. It's the same on the back side. They got the little arrows so you can tighten it to a certain thing there. John Deere one's a bit more basic, just John Deere. John Deere coolant filter. Replace every thousand hours and when changing the new coolant, no corrosion inhibitor. So they're both, these are both filters that just have filters in them. They don't have any SCA or organic acid technology additives in them. They're just standard. Do not service an engine is hot. The coolant can be very hot and it spills out. And the filling instructions. So, in terms of the top, John Deere one looks just like a fairly standard normal filter. I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. Little date code on there. Crimped. Pretty solid, nice. In terms of the O-ring, it comes out fairly easily but stays in there. Still fits in there nicely. It's got a considerable amount of height on it compared to the Donaldson. O-rings sort of quite flat on that and they're both used so they've both been squished down. The Donaldson when looking at that, the thread goes to the outside, whereas on the John Deere is the internal thread. And they have got the same amount of holes. But the John Deere ones are sort of flat, and these are deep dish angled in. they got a, a deep thing on them there. I suppose that'll that would allow for pretty good coolant flow through there, give that bit of space between the element and the actual head itself, it gives it a nice angle, that's pretty good. O ring it's in there nicely. It's not quite as thick as the John Deere one, but it'd do the job just fine. Before we take a look at what was inside the Donaldson. I'll go ahead and get this John Deere cut open and we'll see how we go. Okay, we'll start with the Donaldson. This one's an older filter that's been open for a while, so... Um, got a coil spring. Fairly standard there. Nice and decent. Fits pretty neatly in the base, holds it upright. In terms of the sealing ring, it's pretty good, nice and flexible. Just normal rubber. Sits in there, a little bit of movement. Seals pretty nicely against that face there. No non-return valve on that one. Just straight in, straight out. It's got a tiny little hole in it. 
but as you like, you can see it on that one too, down in the middle. They sort of, it's fairly standard for corner fields. I'm not sure why. Tried research and it couldn't find really any answer as to why corner fielders have such a small hole. So if anybody knows, I'd be quite interested as to why they have such a small outlet hole in them. Anyway, there's a ceiling ring. This is a standard cell that's been torn and, and buggered by me hitting it with a screwdriver, but no bypass valve, which just is what it is. The standard cellulose material, got the tabs in there to stop it. Stop it moving around in the house and fit snug. This looks quite familiar. It looks to me like the same filter element that's in the John Deere RE504836 oil filter. And the metal metal big there. We'll cut the meteor out of it later and have a look as to how much it's actually got in it. It's a nice crimped sand tube in there. Fairly strong, solid, robust, maybe tried and tested design by Donaldson, I'm sure there. Element. Now on this one, this has only just come off the vehicle. And so it's actually, I've cut it open with tin snips. So you guys, if you're interested, you can actually see what's inside the filter. I haven't opened it just yet to actually see what's in there, to see what they actually do. So this has only been on the car, it originally had that one on it. I changed it, this has been on the car for six months. I did a coolant flush previous to putting this one on. Full system flush and new coolant and everything. It's interesting to see what will actually be inside here. So we got the Pretty well flat base plate there. Fairly nice and thick though, it's a bit... It's got a bit more weight in it than the Donaldson. Different design. Doesn't seem to actually be any ceiling ring around there. That just sits in there. It's quite loose as well. Once again, with the coolant filter, it's, so, it's not really do or die like a fuel filter if that leaks past that seal then you're going to have issues and it's going to cost you money and with this it's only a bypass filter anyway so the actual if something gets passed it's not really that much of a I suppose that's why they haven't worried about the the seal there now if we get the actual element out so this is what's coming out of the engine just then. Fair bit of dirt there. That's actual dirt. A lot of dirt in the media. And then actually in there. It's all that dirt and gunk down the bottom. It would have been floating around in the system, getting in the water pump bearings and clogging up little holes and all that. So it has actually done pretty decent. It's quite dirty, I don't know if you can see. There's a lot of dirt around there. It's actually capped off at both ends. The Donaldson you can see inside quite easily. Because it's got the little rubber. And there, what have we got in terms of spring? Different design. Feels a little bit heavier actually than the Donaldson. Um, and a little plastic thing on the bottom. Spring to sit in. Not quite sure why that's necessary, but it's got it in there. 
and all that rubbish was in the engine so I think they're pretty well worth it they filter out a lot of rubbish springs about the same extra little bit in terms of the element Donald sounds a little bit shorter and it on inspection appears to have a bit less meat in it but we'll cut them out and see cut them out and see what they've got come back to that alright hi so I've got them all cut open this is the Donaldson and actually came off when I'd cut them and looks like that's not part of it, it's only glued, and that glue is actually kind of part. It's interesting. I wonder whether I did that when I was taking it apart or not, but good amount of glue in there. Enough to keep it sealed, but not enough to spill out. Standard sort of center tube, decent. John Deere's got the same design as center tube. Held together a bit better glue. It's about the same. So it's got the solid metal end cap in there. Now I measured the media. This is the John Deere one and this is the Donaldson. Donaldson measured 1.7 meters and the John Deere is 3.5 meters. And the Donaldson is also just not quite as wide so I'd say that there's about half as much filter media in the Donaldson as there is in the John Deere considerably less and you can see that on the plates there's not too many there and then on the John Deere there is heaps of little plates so there's a lot more media and in case you guys are interested in how well these coolant builders do actually do something on the system that it's been added onto these here this is the filter media you can see spots there all this different dirt and in case you're thinking you can see how dirt like this is actually wet this is a brand new piece of cellulose same thing I wet this and even wet it stays the same so it's not because this is wet that it's brown this is so dirt soaked and you squeeze it and look, look at all that dirt that just come out on my hand from just squeezing a little bit so there is, they do catch a lot of stuff in terms of the filters which one would I choose to put on my thing well the Donaldson seems to have a little bit better designed filter head. They got a bit better flow. Mm. Strings are about the same. They're both good quality compression springs. They both feel about the same. The Donaldson has got a seal on the top, whereas the John Deere doesn't. But. I think given that it's in a bypass filtration system and it's for the coolant, it's not oil or fuel, I think that they're pretty right in assuming that it's not really necessary to have that seal. It's just nice to have on the Donaldson. In terms of filter media, the John Deere just doing absolute to hand down. I'll see if I can get you sort of a picture of how much. is in each so that is the Donaldson and that there's the John Deere there's like double so if I was going to put either one on my car I'd be putting the John Deere one it's got so much more media in it and the rest of the design features is pretty well negligible for its I'm pretty sure the media will be the same they both just look like they just standard cellulose. So only has got to be more rib, but it'd be the same material. They're yeah, just standard. But I'd go the John Deere. There's plenty more material in there. 
There you have it.